So let's get right into it. I used a Canon M50 for my webcam so I know that it works with Canon cameras and I assume that it works with any other camera as long as you have the equivalent software. So what you're going to need is a Canon camera, mine's an M50, and a micro USB cord, quite literally a cell phone charger. This cord's going to go right into your Canon camera and the other end into your computer. The next thing you're going to want to do is make sure your streaming is set up. So go to your creator studio, click on live stream, stream now, and then copy the stream name and key. You're going to want to go over to OBS Next, click on Settings, go to Stream, and then paste that right where it says Stream Key. And also make sure your service is turned to YouTube slash YouTube Gaming. The next step in the process is to download the EOS Utility. So head to Google, type in EOS Utility, and it normally is the first link that pops up. Click on that link and it'll take you to Canon's website, find your camera model, and click on it. Make sure you're on drivers and downloads, make sure your operating system's correct and you're on software and you want to download the EOS Utilities for Windows and of course if you're on Mac, Mac. Now it's time to launch EOS Utilities. So you need to make sure that your camera is plugged into your computer and powered on. Also I found that you want to have the screen open and on. If you don't it tends to uh, freeze up so I noticed that if I left the camera in selfie mode and left the screen on I didn't have that issue. Next click on remote shooting and then click on the box that says live view shoot. Next, you're going to want to set your focus to face detection plus tracking, so there's just one box on your face and it stays in focus. Then you're going to come over here and click on this icon, which is autofocus point display. So it basically turns that box off so you don't see it in your live stream. So the next thing we need to do is set up our OBS. So open OBS and then go to your sources, right click in the window, go to add, and then click on window capture. Name it something that you can identify as your camera and click OK. From the window drop down, find EOS Utility Remote Live View Window and select OK. Now we got OBS showing our face as a face cam. However, we got a little bit more information than we want, so we need to crop the image. To do so, go to OBS and where you see the red box around your face, you're going to hold the Alt key and drag the window until only your face is shown. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. I know this video might have seemed a little boring, but when it comes to these little tutorials, I like to keep it straight to the point because that's what you guys came here for, is to learn something. If you like just tech stuff, though, consider getting subscribed and checking out my normal content. I think you might like it. Satisfaction guaranteed. We'll see you in the next one.